it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hi, Liam here again. In this video, we're going to go through the first five definitions on the ecology section, as they help to build a solid knowledge foundation for the topic. Ecology is the study of living things and how they interact with their environment. Anytime you see ology at the end of a word, it means the study of. And in this instance, the first part of the word is eco. So this refers to ecosystems and how living organisms have relationships, both positive and negative, with the living and non-living parts of their environment. So that brings us on to environment. An environment refers to all of the conditions in which the organism lives, which affect the growth and development of an organism. And so these factors can be living or non-living. So organisms might have to deal with predators, but they might also have to deal with things like rainfall or the amount of light. Ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms interacting with one another and their non-living environment within a particular area. It should be noted here that the word population means the number of an individual species in an ecosystem, but community is all of the populations in that area. Ecosystems can be really, really small, like one single drop of water, or they could be really, really large, like the entire planet or the Sahara Desert or the Amazon rainforest. It's useful for ecologists to break ecosystems up into smaller, more defined areas. A habitat is the particular place within an ecosystem where an organism lives and to which it has adapted. An example here would be that a fox lives in a particular place called a den, which is a hole in the ground, often located in a forest ecosystem. And the final definition in this video is the word biosphere. And bio means alive or living, and sphere referring to the Earth being a spherical shaped planet. So therefore the biosphere is the part of our planet inhabited by living organisms. And this reaches from about 8 kilometres above sea level to the top of Mount Everest to 10 kilometres below sea level at the bottom of the Marianas Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It should be noted here that the most successful organisms on our planet are actually bacteria in the context that they can survive in the harshest and most extreme conditions like really, really high temperatures, really, really cold temperatures, really, really salty or acidic environments. In summary, you should really know your definitions. Usually four to seven definitions come up on the Leaving Cert Higher Level Biology paper and each one could be worth three marks.